Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you how I made this Moxon vise. All right, so if you're not quite sure what a Moxon vise is, essentially what it is is a vise that sits on top of your workbench, which just gets the workpiece up that little bit higher at a more comfortable level or eye level. So it works by just simply opening up the vise, sliding the workpiece in, And as you can see, it's got a good grip on that, and I'm more at a more comfortable level to just do some sawing or whatever you have to do. So as you can imagine, there's a ton of different versions of this on the internet. Uh, there's some with like a long bench top like this one here, but there's others with just have the jaws of the vise and a spot to clamp it to your bench. The other thing that there's a ton of them options for is hardware. So I want to take a second and talk about hardware before we get into this. Hardware is the hard part because it can get really expensive, especially if you buy a kit. Uh, there is a few options out there. I've seen um, staging jacks being used, but uh, what I thought of was these dumbbell sets. This this is like a three-piece set. It comes like this, so that's a barbell, but I don't need this center portion. What I'm interested in is this Acme thread. This is actually a one-inch solid rod, and it's got this really nice loose-fitting Acme thread, so it spins nice and fast. And so it comes with the nut as well as the bar, and it was $45 brand new. Um, I know you can get this stuff used if you're a look though. So once you have the style of vice you want to make and the hardware picked out, the next thing you got to decide is material. Now obviously the best material would be used is just hardwood through the whole thing, but a lot of us can't afford that, including myself. So I'm using construction grade material for the top. The vice material, I did use hardwood. It was just hardwood I had in the shop, but I do think it's important for the vice to be hardwood because they, it just takes so much abuse. The softwood probably won't last that long. To get started on this project, I ripped two 2x10s into six 3-inch strips. Because the 2x10s measure eight feet long and my bench top is 30 inches, I took the best two 30 inch pieces I could get out of that 2x10 so I could cut around the knots and get the best possible material. The glue up for the top was actually pretty straightforward. I didn't do any flattening or any jointing. I just took six boards and glued those together and then I glued six more boards together and then I took those two sections and glued them together and that's what made up my bench top. So once everything was all glued up and I got it out of the clamps, it was just a matter of using a hand plane to flatten it. I actually made sure the top was actually quite flat and just kind of rough flat in the back. Then before I put any legs on it, I drilled the holes in the drill press for the dog holes. And I could flip it around and run two dados down it. One on either side, what kind of gives a home for the threaded rods. After that, I just glued the two bottom legs on, which was the same thickness as the thickness as the top. And that's essentially the bench top portion complete, and it was just a matter of getting the vise built. The vise construction is actually quite simple. I am using two different materials, and that's just because what I had. I had a piece of eight quarter oak, which I wanted a nice thick piece for the movable jaw, and I had a piece of four quarter, maple for the fixed jaw, which I think is fine because it's got the support of the bench behind it. Construction is pretty simple. All I did is cut my maple piece six inches longer than the bench top, which allowed a little bit of space for my clamps on either side to clamp it to a bench. And then I laid out where the holes needed to go for the threader rod. I first countersunk those holes for the flange what is on the threaded rod and then drilled my through hole. Once I had all my holes drilled, then I could go ahead and glue my maple piece to the bench top. Then I could fasten my threaded rods to the workbench by just, by just using two three inch lag bolts through the holes that were already in the rods. As far as the movable jaw, it's pretty simple. Mine's a piece of oak. I flattened it first with a hand plane, drilled the two holes to line up with the threaded rod, and I beveled one side, which was kind of a mistake. Um, 
I kind of had two ideas going there. I wanted bench dogs, but I also wanted the bevel so that when you're cutting, you can actually get that little bit of room for the bevel. But what I forgot is you can't really put bench dogs in a bevel, so I should have actually left the ends not beveled. But a simple fix was to drill the dog holes on the back side. The only thing I got into with mine is I actually had to glue a strip onto the bottom just to get it up high enough, but now I can use my dog holes here. All right, so that's pretty well the construction of this workbench. What really sparked the idea was my last video. I used a lot of hand tools and I found using the vice what's at the end of my bench, I was just crouched over quite a bit and it was actually pretty hard on my back. So I'm looking forward to having this in the shop. I think I'm pr probably keep it permanently over on my bench over here, but I do want to keep it mobile that I can bring it to this bench if I want to. So I hope you like this project. I'm Ryan Oddle and thanks for watching.